Hi, welcome to my journey into another Weight Watchers and Use It Up Me Plan a Grocery Haul. So this week I'm still doing the Use It Up Challenge all except for two days, I think it is. Um, going through, seeing what I have in the cabinets, a little bit in the freezer. I don't know if I got anything here for the freezer or not. Mostly the pantry items, I guess you could say. Um, and just trying to use them up and make that. I told David, I said, now does it bother you that we might not be having the best meal that we want, but we're trying to use up some of this stuff? He says, no, not at all. Cause he's all about saving a dollar, let me tell you. So listen, those groceries, we'll talk about those groceries in a minute. We'll go ahead and start today. So for today, I still have some of the blueberry vanilla pancakes that I baked, um, prepped for breakfast. Those are eight points, and the vegetable beef soup, which is delicious, that I told you I wasn't going to point out, because it's one or two or whatever, zero, as many servings as I got out of it. And then for supper, we're going to do Wendy's Chili Baked Potatoes. Those, um, that's using the Wendy's Chili in the can. I bought it a long time ago because I wanted us to try it, and we never did. So I thought, well, we'll re recreate the baked potatoes that you used to get at Wendy's. I don't know if you can still get the chili baked potatoes. Can you still get the chili baked potatoes? I used to love those things. So a quarter of the can, a third of the can, which that's too much for a potato, but a quarter of the can is only two points, and the potato just would have to be weighed. And then for Thursday, still have prep and prep. And for supper, some chicken broccoli alfredo over linguine. Because I have a little thing of chicken in the freezer. I have some broccoli. I have a pack of, um, do I want to use my pack of alfredo sauce or my jar? I can't remember which one I planned. I think it's the jar. Um, a quarter cup of the jar is two points. And then linguine, a half a cup of linguine is only three points. So can't beat that. And then some butternut squash. And you know what? I forgot to put the totals down there. So yesterday, 10 points without the potatoes. Thursday, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. 13 points. And then Friday, I just did breakfast and lunch on the fly because I don't have anything prepped. I just didn't know what to do. Didn't feel like thinking about it. So I will find something. And then for supper, this is something David requested. I didn't have it on hand. Um, orange chicken from Trader Joe's. A uh, cup of that is 10 points. And fried rice, which I don't have the Trader Joe's fried rice. I have some that I bought. The last time that I bought Trader Joe's fried rice, and then I couldn't find it, so I thought I lost it. So I bought more, and then I found it, and I used it. <laughs> yeah. Half a cup of that's two points in spring rolls, which I got different spring rolls. So I didn't point them out. So 10, 11, 12 minus the spring rolls and the on the fly. That gives me plenty of um, space. Then for Saturday, I just went ahead and wrote it down Bojangles because we're going to get Bojangles. I'm telling you right now. Who knows the points? I ain't looked it up. Ain't going to lunch on the fly because David will be home. Who knows what we'll be doing for supper. I never got around to making the barbecue meatball subs and um, not and. So I'm going to make <laughs> what I was fixing to say. So I'm going to make those and have steak fries and vegetable nest, which I, I have just a little bit of steak fries left in the freezer and the Trader Joe's vegetable nest. We have some of those. And I'm not pointing that day out. I, I typically have been taking Saturday off. That's the way I did it in the very, very beginning. So that's how I'm doing it down. Sunday prep. Well, I prep on Saturday for breakfast on the fly for lunch and fish tacos for supper. And I don't have anything pointed out because I didn't know what kind of fish I was going to get and tortillas I was going to get how much the um, tacos put together were going to be. So I don't have Sunday pointed out. Monday, prep and prep. And then it's going to be one of my favorite things to make on Monday, beans and taters and greens. And the only thing I had to point on those were the taters. 
So that gives me 712, 12 points plus the tater points. And I get, well, depending on weighing tomorrow, right now I get 28 because I gained weight and I gained three points, I believe it was. So Tuesday prep and prep. And this is called wagon wheel supper. This is a new recipe, but it's something I have everything on hand except for the wagon wheel pasta. And I'm just gonna substitute elbows. But I'm still calling it wagon wheel pasta because that's just what it's called. But it's hefty. It's 12 points per serving because it's hefty. It's a, it's a hefty um, casserole. And then some barbecue bread because I have a little bit of that left in the freezer. And it's not got barbecue sauce on it or nothing. It's uh, this one. Who makes that? I don't forgot now, but it's just called barbecue bread. And it's, oh, it's delicious. If you're lucky enough to catch it at the bread store, you can get a deal on it. So that's what I did. I went to the bread store for the first time in ages, ages ago, and I put it in the freezer. So that's what we're having for the week. That gives me 12, 12 until 24. So that Tuesday's really close. And then for prep, I'm doing something called wake up casserole and it's seven points. And then for lunch, I'm just going to take the apple barbecue pulled pork that I made before and I had enough to put in the freezer. I was going to take that out and use it for prep since David, he's not eating pork. We were going to have it last week, but they never had the pork tenderloin in stock. So I tried twice and I couldn't get it. So I'm just going to make that for myself and it's five points and some green beans for zero points. And then I'm going to make pumpkin pie pudding and it's one point per serving because the recipe makes four servings good size servings. So groceries this week are Trader Joe's, I know, and Food Line. Listen, David, I asked him, did he want anything? He said he was wanting some of that orange chicken. I said, well, as luck would have it, I have to go right by Trader Joe's for an errand. I can stop and get it. Well, I had just the smallest of grocery orders. I put my order, I always write my grocery list on a sheet of notebook paper and I have the same spots for the categories that I put hardly anything on that page I told David I said well I'll just get my groceries at Trader Joe's and Food Line because I don't really have enough to do Walmart because Walmart was like $35 and it did not look like $35 <laughs> this is my old timey brain and eyeballs working because I ended up spending 30 at Trader Joe's and 50 at Food Line go figure go figure of course, I did add the fish tacos at the last minute because they just run across my mind and I thought, you know, I really would like to have some. So that didn't add $20 onto it. Or, or if I thought I didn't have $30, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I guess I'll tell you, my mind was back in the day. We can forget back in the day, can we not? Can we all agree on that? We might not agree on a lot of things, but I think we can forget back in the day as far as groceries go. I don't see them going anywhere. So that's it. Trader Joe's and Food Line. So we'll just turn around and we'll look at those groceries. So here is my little Trader Joe's haul. The Mandarin Orange Chicken. I went ahead and got two of those so I could have one in the freezer for next time I want it because I don't go to Trader Joe's very often and I, I got a vegetable um, fried rice to go with it. And then I always like to get the Papa Deli pasta when I'm there because I love <laughs> these noodles. I like to have these on hand. And the fat-free refried beans, David likes these. I do too. So I picked up a couple of those. And then this is for my, I was afraid Food Line might not have any because sometimes it's hit or miss if you can find these. And so since they had them at Trader Joe's, I got them. This is for my breakfast prep. And then I, I don't even know how many points these are. You know what? Here I am. Just never mind the points. I'll I'll put it on the screen because I'm still not used to looking up points on things. I will put the points for these things on the screen. But I don't care what these are. These are soft and they just look good. And this is for our fish tacos. And then the limes are for our fish tacos and avocados because David, he loves avocados. So that is what I got from Trader Joe's. And up next is Food Line. So here's my small food line order. I got the, I was wanting vegetable egg rolls because we like those the best, but 
it was chicken or pork so I opted for the chicken this is to go with our orange chicken and then some more eggs and of course I'm gonna put the points on the screen because here I am filming again without looking anything up and David wanted orange juice this week and they have changed Trop 50 to Tropicana Light that is Trop 50 um, now these olive garden croutons I need the croutons and when I pull croutons up in Instacart I saw these and I'm like oh well that sounds good <laughs> because you know they're good at the restaurant so I thought I'd go and buy me some and then I need cilantro which oh my gosh it smells so good in here and then my 93% hamburger this is for I don't know look $6.79 a pound that's how much hamburger is just how much is it 93 percent how much is it going for in y'all's area i'm just curious if this is like par for the course and then i need some onions i got a deal on this they were on sale for $1.99 so that's a good deal right there and then some green onions for i thought that sounded good on the top of our orange chicken and then i wasn't sure if i had enough green beans for my preps i grabbed another can of that and I was um, not in the mood to fry my own fish, so I got these for our fish tacos. And the radishes are also for the fish tacos. And this is, I don't think, a bacon that David's ever had. Since I didn't do a Walmart order, that's where his favorite turkey bacon is. We do like Nature's Promise products, so that's why I thought I'd let him try that. And I wasn't sure if I had enough cheese because I think we're cheesy this week, cheese heavy. And then I'm just feeling kind of tatery. So I, I got a good size bag of taters. They'll last. So that's it. Listen, not much in the way of groceries this week, but it still wasn't cheap. So that'll do it for me today. I hope you're having a good hump day and wish me luck. I'll see you tomorrow on weigh in.